Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport, and in this On One short clip, we're going to look at creating a black and white photo in On One Photo Raw. I like to take architecture shots and turn those into black and white photos. I think something about very structured, very detailed architecture makes a great black and white photo. And it's nice because we can take photos in you know, mid-morning or mid-afternoon. Light would not normally be the best for landscape photography. I can point my camera at interesting architecture. So I've done my basic just automatic develop tone and color settings. I'm going to start with dynamic contrast in effects because I like my black and whites to have some pretty strong contrast. I'm going to increase the highlights here some too and to make sure I get the nice whiteness in these shutters. And then when I convert to black and white, it's going to make those pop out more. Now let's add the black and white filter. Now, first question you might have is why am I using the filter in the effects module and not in develop? That is because of this toner section. That is not something that is in the black and white panel in develop. And I like to use the toner on my architecture photos. We're going to get there in a minute. Let's start off by just getting our color response looking good. I usually start with auto and I said I like to have really strong darks and really bright brights. So those flags at the bottom, those are mostly red. I'm going to darken those. Now the blues were the sky and so for this photo, kind of where it was, was about okay. And I think I'll darken that with a local adjustment fiddle around with this and there's mostly a lot of yellow in there. Let's darken that yellow a little bit. That's looking pretty good. Let's do a quick before and after. All right, already looking pretty cool. I'm going to jump down to film grain and turn that off. I am not a particular fan of film grain for my architecture photos, but in the toner, I want to add a selenium or potentially a golden selenium. So let's see, selenium versus golden selenium. I think for this one, I like the selenium look. But I may lower the amounts just a little bit right around there. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I want to finish this off by adding a bit more detail, and I'll just do that right here in the black and white panel. This is another segment of the panel in effects that isn't in develop, and it's a convenience, right? It's just here. I don't have to go to another panel to get it. The last bit will be local adjustments. Got our darken preset. I'm going to grab a local masking bug, drop that on the top, and just feather that out a little bit. That's to take the eyes away from the sky. I want you looking here. And that's actually the next thing we'll do. Another layer adjustment. We have our gradient. I'm going to change the shape to center. So I apply to the center of this bug. Now, I certainly don't want to darken it. I want to brighten it up a little. And I want to add some detail so that our eyes will be drawn right to this cool looking statue here that's in the center. Let's go ahead and resize that and then feather it out some and maybe even nudge the highlights up just a little bit so that jumps out. Maybe I'll lower it so that we get a bit of that sign right in there. And I'll do one more local adjustment. I'm gonna do the same thing here. This is really a vignette. But uh, since I'm in the local adjustment tool, I'll use it. I'll switch it over to edges. So now I'm applying the local adjustment to the outside edges. So you can see if I take this down very far, see the outside edges is what's getting affected. That's a little bit too dark, but not too bad if we go actually pretty darn moody there and taking that all the way down to Oh gosh, a negative one on the exposure there. Drag that in a little bit. And that is going to do it. So I think I'm pretty happy with that look. Here's before. Mid-morning shot. Interesting, but not compelling. And here's after. Boosted contrast. Added the black and white with a toning look. And then the local adjustments to help focus the eye in on this very interesting crest in the center of the photo. I hope you've enjoyed this short clip. My name is Scott Davenport. Thanks very much for watching.